Let's take a look at angles in 2D shapes. So question one, this is a non-calculator question. What is the size of each angle in an equilateral triangle? Or well, this is something that hopefully you know off the top of your head, which is 60 degrees. Alternatively, you just need to remember that there's 180 degrees in a triangle. So if there are three angles all the same size, then you just need to divide 180 by three and get 60. Question number two, also non-calculator. Well, these two angles together add up to 120 degrees. The total sum of, well, the sum of all, the sum of the angles is 180. So therefore, what is 180 minus 120? 60. So this missing angle is 60 degrees. And if we can double check that quite easily. 60 plus 40 is 100, plus the 80, 180. But they need to add up to 180, obviously. Question number three, still uh, no calculator. So this angle here is a right angle, so that's 90 degrees. 90 plus 35, that's 125. So we need to subtract 125 from 80. 10 minus five is five. Seven take away two is five. So this angle here is 55 degrees. Question four, I believe is a calculator question. So if we add these um, angles together, and, and then subtract them from 360 degrees, or 360 minus 120 minus 110 minus 80. That will tell us that angle A is 50 degrees. Question number five, this is a non-calculator paper. So, uh, sorry, question rather. So we know that the angles add up to 180. So far we've got 110 plus 45, so that's 155. So what's the difference between 155 and 180? Rather than doing a subtraction, I'll just count up. So there's five to 60, and then another 20 to go from 60 to 80. So that is a difference in total of 25 degrees. Question um, six, you can use a calculator for, uh, for the remaining questions on this paper, actually. So, so far here, we've got 90 plus 90 plus 105. These four angles add up to 360. So 360 minus 105 minus 90 minus 90 gives us angle A. And angle A works out as 75 degrees. Question number seven. So we are told the keyword is isosceles. So these two sides are the same length, meaning that these two angles are also the same. So the angles add up to 180 in total. If we take away the 80, we've got 100. So if these angles are the same, we just need to divide 100 by 2. So each angle is 50 degrees. Question 8 is all about a parallelogram. And there's just a couple of key things we need to know about parallelograms as far as the angles are concerned. And one is that diagonally opposite angles are equal. And angles which are not diagonally opposite add up to 180. So B is diagonally opposite this 65 degree angle here. So that is also 65 degrees. And the angles which are not diagonally opposite, in other words, B and C, they add up to 180. C and 65 add up to 180. And A and 65 add up to 180. And A and B also add up to 180. Many ways we can work out A and C from here. Um, B and C add up to 180. So if I take 65 away from 180, that leaves me with 115 degrees. So C is 115 degrees, and therefore A is also 115 degrees as well, because these two angles are diagonally opposite. Question number nine, the diagram shows a kite with two lines of symmetry. So since um, it's symmetrical both vertically and horizontally, angle B is going to be exactly the same as 150. So B is 150 degrees. So this is a four-sided shape. So in a four-sided shape, the angles add up to 360 degrees. So far, we've accounted for two angles, which together are 300 degrees. So therefore, A and C are 60 degrees in total. Since A and C are identical, then that means they are both 30 because 60 divided by 2 is 30. So A is going to be 30 degrees and also C is 30 degrees.